the plot today, 24th of August. I think that's it, 24th. And as we said in our last video, I'm going to get up these trial potatoes, our trial of McCain Royal. A free set of potatoes from Thompson and Morgan for a blog post that Sue did. So that's first job. They are through weed control fabric, so I'll have to cut the tops off first. Don't think there's much problems with them having blight, so I'm going to put them on the compost heap. So first job, I'm going to get tops cut down. Martin's taken up the weed control fabric, so now the idea is to show you the reveal of one root. And the background is that uh, these potatoes arrived from Thompson and Morgan on the 3rd of April, which is late for us. And if I remember right, we didn't have a lot of choice, did we, in the catalogue? A lot, no, a lot had a lot sold had already out. sold out. They were free. So we can't complain, and anything's a bonus that comes off them. They were actually planted in this bed under the weed control fabric on the 18th of April. And we were rather worried, weren't we, because they just didn't seem to show Very any worried. signs of growing. And then an odd one had come through, and then it was ages before anything else. And then they just shot, didn't they? Yeah. Just decided to take off. And in the end, they ended up with probably the best foliage of all our potatoes. Probably, but whether that means we've got best potatoes or not. Or whether we've actually just got... Lots of foliage. <laughs> yeah. So, we can see that we've got some straight away that are just... Well, these aren't earthed up, are they? So they do tend to grow nearer the surface. Do, yeah. And because they're under weed control fabric, obviously they're protected from any light. So we shouldn't get any green potatoes. Always a guess now where to put a fork. Yeah. And if you hear that crunching sound, you know you've... Um, or if you feel resistance. Them. Yeah. Let's see, over here I might as well get... See, the ones you've picked... slug damage. Oh yeah. We haven't had much of that no. either, have we? Crikey. The ones you've picked up so far look a decent size, actually. It sounds as though there's a fair bit of root on, whether there's any potatoes on the root. That's not bad, Martin. Don't look bad at all. What do you think? No, I think that's pretty good. They're all decent size, aren't they? Yeah. Do we know what they're best for? Uh, no. Eating. <laughs> Looks to be some decent chip ones. I suppose being called McCain, maybe they. Well, yeah. <laughs> grow, grow Roasting and chips. Yeah. All we have to hope now is that's not just a fluke root, don't we? We do. Just I'll have a dig around, see if there's any more in that there. That is not bad for one root, I don't think. Should we weigh it? You can do, see there's the scales in here. I mean, look how dry it is though. Mm. Shall I get the scales? Mm -hmm. Do you want to lift it up? Yeah, I'll just get look at all this lot in here. Can I hold on to the thing? That 6.1 something. 6.1. 6.1. Oh, 6.1. 6 
in the buckets. Is that point two six five. point one kilograms? Yes. Crikey, that's a lot, isn't it? Yes. And we've got to take point two off, don't we? So it's about six kilograms. Yeah, just under. See what the rest are like now. Are you going to, uh, you want me to do this other one? dig another one just to see if that was a fluke? Fluke? <laughs> are we tipping those out? Yes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put them down this side. This one might be on our list then. Mightn't it? Yeah, no, but big question is which one would we take up? Wow, wasn't a fluke. Have you stabbed any yet? No, not so far. Is Was you? there only that one had slug damage? There might be an odd other one, I think. It's not when you're doing these, it's when you're digging round and when you think they are digging the rest of the soil, you stab them, the mm. ones that are miles away. It is dry, isn't it? Yeah. When you think this is what we'd consider to be one of our better bets. Yeah. And covering it with weed control fabric, it should have retained some of the moisture, shouldn't it? I thought so, but it hasn't, has it? So there's not as many on that, but we're pretty pleased with that. Okay. Yeah. So shall we leave you there and see what, what we've got of, at the yeah. end of it all? What about you? You're weighing all the onions up, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I've weighed up under cover, all so. the onions. The idea is that because the we're resting on the soil I thought if it rains and the soil gets wet it's not going to be particularly good for drying off so we've got some old bits of bird cage which I'm going to uh, put on some bricks or something and then put the onions on top of that so we've got this lot are Centurion. Then we've got Hercules, no, sorry, Sturon. No, it was Hercules. Hercules and their Sturon. Think right. So far, I think the Hercules are slightly less big than the other two. But they're all good onions. Yeah, they're they? all good onions. No rot whatsoever. So, see how they dry. Pity we haven't got anywhere under cover we can put them. You're going to have to build a gazebo thing. I'll carry on getting some more spuds. We'll come back in a bit. <laughs> okay. I've got our trial potatoes, these McCain Royals, lifted. My word, it was hard going. Our ground is sort of pretty well compacted for whatever reason this year. And see, there still seems to be plenty of weeds, even though we had some weed control fabric down. Spuds, good size. More damage than any of the others that we've lifted. Far more slug damage. Is that because they've been under weed control fabric? Or is it just the variety? Is that the reason these were still available in April? Don't know. Would we grow them again? Maybe, but I don't think I'd put them under weed control fabric. I think I'd just grow them normally and see if, see if we got a bit less damage that way. They were only just ready for lifting because some of the skins still haven't quite set. And if they're caught, it just does 
skin just does come off but that should set quite quickly once they're out of the ground. Our potatoes are up and I just thought I'd have a see if I can do a little bit of a close-up to show you what sort of damage there is to these potatoes. As you can see some of these big ones have got a hole in which is a bit of a shame. Spud that size but I never know whether to keep something like that and see one like that that could be a bit of wire worm couldn't it which we haven't had in any of our other potatoes this year but there is far more damage in these but Susan has managed to get all our onions on these old metal birdcage things not far off the ground but they are off the ground so hopefully if we do get any rain they'll not be standing on wet soil all we have to do now is work out where we're going to store these when we take them home I'm going to get on with a bit of harvesting now having finished digging up all those spots I've quickly sorted out our McCain Royal potatoes. These are the ones that are going to go straight in the bin. These have all got some sort of damage. In a normal year, some of those big ones, I might try and see if there was a bit on, but we've got loads of spuds this year, so they're going to go straight in the bin. I'll weigh those up separately, and then the others are bagged up. I'll weigh these up once I get them home. So I don't reckon that's a bad crop given that we uh, sort of haven't previously tried them. Will we give them another go? I think we might. Might depend finally on a taste test. But again, as you can see, the soil they grew in was pretty rubbish here really. It's not When these spuds went in this ground seemed in quite good condition which was one of the reasons we planted them in here but now it's going to need winter to break it down. Some frost and rain on this it'd be okay for next spring but I don't want to try and plant anything in it now. We are now ready to head home. We've done our harvesting for today so there's those McCain Royal potatoes by the car ready to go in. Uh, we've got some cobra climbing French beans, some romance carrots, another bucket of sweet peas, some Victoria plums, some Marjorie seedling plums and I'm trying four little green gauges. I'm not sure which tree they're off, I'll put that at the bottom. Here got some tomatoes from the greenhouse, there's a couple of crimson crush and two crimson plum and finally some all gold raspberries. So it's been a busy afternoon at the plot. Off home for some dinner and a well-earned rest now. Thanks for watching, bye for now. Mm -hmm.